Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to stock trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers the initial setup of the Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. This presentation will teach you how to set up your MB Trading Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. When you first download and install the MBT Desktop Pro, it will populate as a large gray screen. This is called your workspace and you will start populating various windows onto the workspace. First, let's go over some of the features of the MBT Desktop Pro workspace. Up at the top, you have the option to choose different symbols, intervals, and accounts. So before you get started, you want to make sure that you are in your Equities demo account or live account. Click on the drop down and select the specific account number associated with either your stock demo or live account. We also have various drop downs at the top allowing you to access different features of the platform. Under the file drop down, you can access different windows, you can save and open workspaces, you can print workspaces, and you can access your most recent workspaces created. Under the view drop down, you can populate various toolbars, including your chart bar, symbol bar, line bar, and market clock. Under the alerts, you can set up various alerts, which we cover in our charts tutorial. Under the tools dropdown, you can bring up symbol information for a specific equity. You can look up different equities. You can access our MBT research feature, our MBT morning notes. As well, you can access MBT world alongside a host of other options. The window will allow you to cascade or tile horizontally or vertically your various windows once you populate them. Under support, you can access the MB Trading Home website, our online chat support, or various reports for your account. Under help, you can access the user manual for the Desktop Pro platform, as well as other contact and support options. Up at the top, we have a toolbar which you can access by clicking on view symbol bar and this will provide you with different windows that you can populate. Alongside that you have a different toolbar that will populate and become active when your charts are open. You now want to begin by building out various windows. You can do this by clicking on file, new, and then choosing the window. For example, the first window of which we will populate will be our account balances. Once you populate the window, if you click anywhere else on the platform, the window will appear to disappear. Actually, the window is simply not locked onto the workspace, meaning you can move it off to another monitor. To lock your window onto the workspace, you simply are going to click the button with the red arrow pointing in the window next to the ACC button. It will vanish, reappear, and now it is locked onto your workspace. You can build out the rest of your windows by clicking on File, New, and choosing those different windows. For example, we will build a watch list now. Your watch list allows you to see what's happening with various equities. Again, we're going to click the button to lock it onto our workspace. As you build out your various windows, you can arrange them and resize them to fit your aesthetic preferences. Each of these windows, as you can see, can be stretched out, can be reshaped and resized to fit your preferences. Again, we're building out the windows and we're locking them on the platform reshaping and resizing as we progress. 
Now, once you have built out your workspace and it looks the way you want it to and everything's arranged effectively, you're next going to save the workspace. You will do this by clicking on File, Save Workspace As, and giving it a name. So for example, we'll name this Stocks22 and click on Save. Up at the top here, you can see we are now working with our Stocks22.wkf workspace. Now, if you happen to rearrange your windows, you can always come back to the last saved workspace by clicking on File. From the drop-down, selecting the Stocks22.wkf or clicking on Open Workspace and choosing it from the list of workspaces you have created. Anytime you make a change, it will ask you if you want to keep that change before you progress. Finally, if you notice down here, in the lower right-hand corner, we have our indices and our connection status. Right now, you can see we have the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. To populate indices, we simply right-click, and under our status bar settings, we check off the specific indice that we want to view. The three green lights tell us, number one, we're connected to the trading server, we're connected to our quote server, and we're connected to our messages server. Make sure these, green, these lights are green before you begin trading. If they are not, check your internet connection or contact our customer service department for assistance. In our next section, we will detail how to customize and set up your preferences for the MBT Desktop Pro software.